On a recent summer morning, research biologist Ed Rutherford was out on Lake Michigan dragging the bottom for samples of zebra and quagga mussels, but he also pulled up a lesser known invasive species. It seems we, had, we caught a tremendous number of these um, large predaceous cladocerans called Bithotrephes, the spiny water flea. The spiny water flea is so tiny, it can barely be seen at the tip of a finger. Yet it presents a serious risk to North America's aquatic ecosystem. This is Island Lake Reservoir near Duluth, Minnesota. It's infested with spiny water flea. The reported densities here, which reach around 100 per cubic meter of water, are among the highest densities in a single lake reported thus far uh, on the North American continent. Biologist Don Brandstrader lowers a plankton net 90 feet to capture samples of the invasive to study in his lab. And they go down to the very deeper parts of the lake during the daytime and only rise up into the water column and near the surface during the night. This microscopic insect actually competes with small fish by gobbling up zooplankton, the fish's main food supply. But when the small fish, in turn, attempt to eat the tiny insect, they begin to choke and cough back up that organism. That's because of the flea's long barbed tail, which not only chokes small fish, it clogs up fishing lines Water fleas, they collect on our lines when we're trolling on, on the downriggers. And sometimes we have to stop the customers from reeling in the fish because the line won't go through the guides because there's so many water fleas jammed up on the line. Like so many other invasives, the spiny water flea hitchhiked its way from Northern Europe in the ballast water of ships. It first appeared in the lower Great Lakes in the early 1980s. By 1987, it was established in all of the Great Lakes. The spiny water flea is just one of hundreds of aquatic invasives, just waiting to secretly hitch a ride with unsuspecting boaters and anglers to even more lakes and rivers. So drying does appear to be the only effective means of killing the organism and its resting egg at this point. The diligence of boaters is the best defense we have in the ever-growing battle with the aquatic hitchhikers, known as the silent invaders. <laughs>